Hello students, it's physics class of standard 8, first lecture and in this lecture we are going to study about force, okay? Force is defined as push or pull, just go through it, push or pull. From the initial phase in the previous class, we have discussed that force is an effect which is in the form of push or pull but now it's standard 8 so we should enhance our thinking and just move ahead the push or pull which can either change or try to change which can either change or try to change means force is an effect force is push or pull which can change or try to change shape, size, state or position of any body. Any body is present in its initial state and by applying force we can change its shape we can change its size we can change its state means body is at rest will be in motion body is in motion will be at rest only by applying the force and position position can also be changed if any body is present nearby me i will throw it and it will become far from me if anybody is far from me and you will throw towards me and that will be in my hand that is nearby me. So by applying force only we can see the effect means effects of force are summarized in these four words. First one is change in shape, second one is change in size, third one is change in state and fourth one is change in position force is expressed as product of mass and acceleration means if any body is in motion then force is applied there you must have seen the accelerator in your motorbike or car without acceleration no body can move so, if we provide accelerator, the car or bike moves with more speed. More speed, more acceleration means more force is applied. Force is expressed as F equal to MA. F is symbol of force. M symbol of mass. A symbol of acceleration. Force is represented as F and its SI unit is Newton and that Newton which is starting with small n is SI unit of force if we will write Newton with capital N then it will be name of a scientist so in as SI unit of force we have to write Newton with a small n and the symbol of this Newton is capital N means Either write Newton with a small n or write only capital N to represent the SI unit of force. Force always exists in pair action and reaction. Just take a ball and drop down towards ground. What will happen? Yes, ball will come back. Means if we will throw a body towards ground, the ground waves will rebound it towards us. Action done by me and reaction done by ground. So always a force is applied but in two directions, action and reaction. Force exists in pair. SI unit, one Newton can be expressed as product of 1 kg and 1 meter per second square acceleration means if a body of mass 1 kg 
is moving with acceleration or having acceleration of 1 meter per second square, then the applied force will be 1 newton. If a body is applying 1 newton force to you, then you will also apply 1 newton force on that body. If you are applying 5 newton force on anybody, then that body will also apply 5 newton force on you. But directions will be opposite to each other. Force is categorized in two ways. We have divided force in two parts. One on the basis of magnitude and another on the basis of nature. On the basis of magnitude, here it is balanced force, unbalanced force and resultant force. Balanced force in which no change is seen. Forces are applied, but no change is seen. It means there is balanced force. If forces are applied and some change, any bit of change is observed, then it will be unbalanced force. Resultant force, the magnitude difference. If one body is applied force from left, and the same body is getting force from right. One is 5 Newton and another is 7 Newton. The difference will be resultant force. That is 2 Newton is resultant force. And that 2 Newton will push the body in that very direction from which 5 Newton force was getting applied. Okay. Now it's the turn of nature based types of force. First one is contact force. By physical contact, the force applied only by making physical contact. That is contact force. In this category, we are having three types of force. Muscular force, frictional force and mechanical force. Muscular force, the force applied by muscles. When we are holding anything in our hand, when we are putting table, chair, anything from one place to another place, then we are applying muscular force. When a cart is getting pulled by horse, then it is also muscular force. But in case of frictional force, we need to have two bodies interacting each other. One body is down and another is up just like a car moving on road if car is moving on road then there is frictional force between car's wheel and the road it always oppose the motion frictional force always oppose the motion if car is moving forward the frictional is in reverse frictional force is acting in reverse direction but there is interaction between both the bodies without making contact frictional force cannot be applied third one is mechanical force we must have seen so many machines around us and each machine contains several parts all parts are interconnected with each other if one will move then another will move and it will continue so there is physical contact if no physical contact, no machine will work. Next part is non-contact force. Non-contact force which can be applied without making contact. The force which can be applied without making contact. No physical contact is made but force is applied. I will listen about the story of Newton when he was sitting below a tree and apple had fallen on his body. Yes, that is the force of gravitation. Each and every body in this universe having mass poses gravitational force. And gravitational force is only attractive force. The nature of gravitational force is attractive. Gravitational force, bodies having mass and in nature, it is attractive force. But second part is magnetic force. 
the force acting between magnets or a magnet and magnetic material. If like poles of two magnets are brought near, then they repel like poles of magnet, so is repulsion, but unlike poles of magnet, so is attraction. So we can conclude that magnet magnetic force is having both the natures, force of attraction and force of repulsion. And after that last, electric force, the body is having charge. Body is having charge. Charge either positive or negative. If two bodies having positive charge, then they will repel each other. Like charge, repel. If two bodies having opposite charge, one positive and another negative, then it will repel. Like charge, repel. I am extremely sorry. Like charge, repel. And unlike charge, attract. Two bodies having different charge. One is having positive and another is having negative. Then they will attract. Bodies having different charge will attract each other. Body having same charge, like charge, will repel each other. Positive, positive, repulsion. Positive, negative, attraction. Like pole of magnet, repulsion. Unlike pole of magnet, attraction. It's the content provided on both and also on the snap homework app. You must have seen or you must have to join snap homework app on which all the teachers are providing study material assignment worksheet question answer so please join snap homework app and get the latest updates regarding your study thank you very much